Hey guys, it's your girl Lizzie back with another video. So today I was thinking, which is really rare, and I didn't know what to do for my video because I didn't really have inspiration. And then I have a party I'm going to this weekend and I haven't planned out my makeup look yet. And usually people do like a get ready with me, but I was thinking like, what if I did my planning process? Like, so I'm basically gonna show you guys how I plan my makeup for a special event. So like, a plan with me, not a get ready with me, a plan with me, let's get to it. So I'm gonna be wearing a dress and my dress is red, okay? Red's my color. And so I'm thinking, I was thinking like a red lip type look, you know, smoky eye, red lip. But I was like, I don't know, I've done that a lot and sometimes it just doesn't look that good on me like I did for my party. So I didn't want to do that again. And then I was thinking neutral, like a natural look, but I wasn't feeling it. Like I want to look bomb in my pictures and not as natural and I want to have my lipsticks. And so I really think I want to do a red lip, but I'm not sure because it makes my teeth look yellow sometimes. I'm not gonna lie, I don't have the whitest teeth, so I kinda wanna do a red lip, but also if I do a red lip, it's gonna wear off through the night, right? And I'll have to reapply. But if I do a nude lip, it's not bold enough. So I kinda, I think at this point, I'm leaning more towards a red lip. I know for sure for the eyes, I don't wanna do like a half cut crease. That's what I always do. And so this time I'm thinking more of like, I'm gonna say a smoky eye as if I don't do them a lot. I'm thinking maybe a smoky eye, but I also saw this one, it was like, it's more brown, you know, like a brown look. But then I saw another one that was like a brownish black with gold right here, and then it was like nothing there. So I'm trying to decide between those two. And the majority of the time I will go on Pinterest and kind of go there for some inspiration, you know, for like, Ooh, what's gonna look good with the dress? So I did that earlier. So I kind of have two ideas that I'm really choosing from right now. Right now, I'm choosing from. So I think I'm going with the brown look because I don't know. <clears throat> it's like an orangey brown. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know. So I'm gonna pick my palettes now that I'm gonna use and I will really show you. All right, so I got my palettes. Okay, I'm being so many texts right now. Like. The one time people talk to me. I got my Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette, my Semi Sweet, Semi Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette, my Tartise palette, and my I Want Candy palette, of course. And so these ones kind of have the colors I'm looking for, and they have everything. Like you can't go wrong with these palettes. So I kind of, like I said, I'm going with the brown, but it's like a orangey brown type look. And so all these palettes kind of have similar colors. And so now it's just finding the perfect one. And I'm just gonna start off with a more natural one. I'm taking a more natural one. I'm taking the Tartise palette and I'm going into this color bold with a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna take that on my crease. And I'm not making it super intense on the inner corner like I usually do because I often do cut creases, but this time I'm not, so I don't wanna go too, too intense on my inner corner and have it look awkward. So I'm kind of toning it down there for once. And I'm kind of bringing it out to the, like out here, if you guys can see, because I, I don't think I wanna do anything. Like, I do a lot of the same, similar looks. I do cut creases and I do, you know, ones that are very sharp, I use tape a lot, but I don't think I wanna do that this time. Keep in mind, I'm gonna see my boo, so I'm trying to make a good impression on him. Next, I'm going into the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette, and I'm taking this orangey-ish shade up here at the top. And I'm not gonna go crazy with it, okay? We are not going crazy with this color. We just want the smallest bit just so we can, it's just gonna poke through a little, like it's not major. We're just trying to darken up that bold color.
And then I'm just che checking, I'm looking straight because I have a big mirror and I'm making sure that everything is kind of even and just looking the way I want it when my eyes are open because that's also very important. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a more brown color. So I'm taking the chocolate bar palette and I'm going into this color Truffle. I don't know if I want to use this brush. Okay, so I'm taking my it came with my smoky palette, like the naked smoky palette. I'm taking this end. Can you see? Can you? And I'm going into truffled very lightly. And I'm going onto the the outer V and the crease. But mostly on the outer V and less on the crease. And I'm not going super dark with this color because like I said, that is not what I'm trying to do with this look. And I do wanna see that brown a little bit up here, like when my eyes open, cause I don't want it just here. Cause it just, it looks a little awkward from here. Then I'm taking the first brush I used and I'm going back into this color up here in the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette and I'm going back in the crease just to intensify that, because I want it intense, but not like anything crazy. And then I also want a little bit of gold. So I'm gonna add that in. And like usual, I'm choosing between two colors, okay? So actually, I'm choosing between three, but not anymore. I'm gonna take this ethereal, ethereal, the real, I don't know, this color right here for my Tartiste palette. And I'm going to put it right in this area. It's not on this finger, it's on this finger, right here. So between the front of my lid and between the middle. I like that a lot. Okay, then with a different finger, a clean finger, I'm going into the color Glam from Tar Tartise palette and I'm putting it on the front of the lid. If you see me looking in the mirror a lot, it's because I'm checking to make sure it looks how I want as a whole. So I put on some mascara and I pull up and I curl my lashes, you know, like I do. And I'm trying to find my primer. I'll take my primer, the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I don't feel like messing with primer water right now. I'm putting that on. I put on moisturizer earlier before I do my eyes. And I'm gonna do my usual um, face routine, but I'll still kind of go through it. I have gotten one new product since the last time we've seen each other. That is this Lancome foundation. Yo, I took French, but I am going to butcher this. Tiens, I adore ultra wear. It's terrible. But you guys, you probably heard of it before. And if you haven't, I'm sorry. But this is the shade, I think it's 202. 220, that's what it is, it's 220. So I'm taking that, make sure you shake it. I'm putting it on the back of my hand and just applying it. Man, I should have put my hair out of the way. That seems to be good. This stuff is my exact shape. It's great. Now I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape, you know, the usual, the shape light sand. I need to buy more because I'm running out. And that is not a good thing to run out of because I think I actually have to order this online because they never have it at the Sephora I go to. Man, is that crooked. How cute. So I let this stuff sit for a little while before I actually like blend it in. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now that I have that blended out, I'm taking a 
grab it my cover effects custom enhancer drops in the shade moonlight oh my god i almost spilled this stuff everywhere now i'm taking my rms beauty um translucent powder so i'm just gonna put that on i'm not baking or anything now that i got all that in place i'm for my bronzer it's the Too Faced chocolate bronzer chocolate so little see right i and medium deep and I'm taking this little tart brush and I'm putting this stuff where it goes next I'm taking my Too Faced peach my cheeks blush I think that's what it's called and this is in the shade so peachy I'm taking this little Dior brush that I got with my highlighter then I like to bring a little up here for some color so I don't look like a goat Kind of pat it everywhere. Why not? Oh, there's my hair. Hello. Next, I'm taking this Amrezy highlighter, and I'm taking this little blending brush because I like how it applies highlighter better than a regular highlighter brush. So, I'm also putting it on the inner corners and the brow bone because I look ugly. And the brow bone, you know, I'll say that like a normal human. Taking my chocolate bar palette, I'm taking my Morphe E17 brush, and I'm going into truffle. Maybe this isn't the best brush, but I'm going under my uh, under my lower lash line. And then that's not the only color. I'm taking the Huda Beauty one again, and I'm going back with that orangey type of color and just blending it out. I popped on my bombshell lashes in the style Honeymoon off camera, and now I'm going to do my lips, which as I said earlier, I'm doing red. And that is my final look. Um, I think it looks like, yeah. I got exactly what I was going for and so that's like my little planning process that I do and I hope that it helps you with your planning process because I know sometimes that can just be a hassle deciding how you're gonna throw your outfit together and what makeup you're gonna do with it because I know I always struggle with that and just hopefully this helps you kind of know what to put together and how to put it all together. I know Pinterest, I use that a lot for my planning process, but this is these are the steps I take. I just kind of go color by color, step by step, you know, you know the drill. But hopefully it helped you. I will be posting pictures from the party and you can see with the dress. I'm not showing my dress on here because it's a surprise. So if you want to see the dress, you can check it out. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Bye.